This is Brett Sedell with Pan Man Productions. I am backstage at the Music Hall of Williamsburg right now in Brooklyn, New York. I am absolutely thrilled to tell you that I'm joined with uh, Modest Yahoo, Grammy-nominated, two-time gold album seller. I have to say I'm absolutely astounded by the show that you do. I was here last night, the sold-out show, blizzard going on outside. Could you, was it just me or could you feel that sort of intensity and electricity going on inside as well. Uh, last night was, was a, I thought, a special show. Right. Special show. Yeah. When you do crowd surfing, uh, does that ever get you nervous at all? Um, crowd, no, not, well, sometimes. Like, certain situations. Uh, for example, um, it sounds like there's a wrestling match. <laughs> I know, I was just going to say. <laughs> Kevin Devine is throwing down next He's throwing time. down. <laughs> do you want to go in there and maybe just drop? <laughs> Uh, we're probably pacifists. Um, yeah, but he, um, yeah, it was uh, what we're saying. Stage time. There's been one time I was really scared. We were on this last tour in the south. We were in, I want to say, um, somewhere in North Carolina, maybe. And I climbed up onto the top of the speakers, like the front, you know, the, the main speakers, you know, very high, like 20 feet. Yeah. 15, 20 feet up in the air. And then uh, I was just sitting up there because it was a good place to sit while the band was kind of oh like, naturally of course well it's like, get a nice view too yeah it's good I like to like get um, to go to different places on the stage and in the venue to kind of get different perspective on the show to try to get out of myself a little bit and so so I've I've been known to kind of sit on top of speakers and stuff like that in different places and I was sitting up there and then people started kind of kind of being like jump down you know and I was like that's this is this is a high jump you did know? you say anything to them or no, were you just I, in the back of your head I, didn't like, say, I was oh, just boy. thinking I was just like you know I, this is by far higher than anything I've ever done and I mean can they get me like will they yeah, really right. get me and then at some point I realized I have to do it like now that you're already up there something in me clicked and it was just there's no way out of this. There's no way. Even if, even if I, even if I fall, you know, and even if it's like it goes really bad, I have to do. I it. Had to do it. Well, you passed the point of no return. You couldn't climb down from 20 feet of speakers at that point. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so then there was one guy who was like this 250 pound biker guy, the ponytail, like big dude, and he's like, I got you. I got you. <laughs> that well, you spotted him in the crowd. Yeah, and he was like. Do I got it. you, I got you, I got 